Hey guys, HD here, and welcome to episode 18 of Pokemon Violet. So last time I accidentally said 17 instead of 18, which was my mistake. But yeah, in this episode we're gonna go to the star base, see what's up. Back up, kid. You can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of us stars that run the joint. If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and stomp the base like a decent person. Okay, uh, I guess. Where did it just take me? Yeah, I don't even know where I'm at now. Um, yeah, I'm completely lost. I want to go this direction. So I guess it sent me by this side. Um, should just take this around. Yeah, I do like the dash. Definitely one of the better features. I think I'm going faster. You know, it could. What if it's just a visual effect? Okay. East Province, Area One. I hate those. I hate these encounters out of nowhere. I'm gonna run. I don't think this is their talk, is it? No, I don't look like it. Okay, I might actually want to catch one of these. These are cool. I'll do Ember. Okay, thank you, but I don't need it. Yeah, maybe one more bite. No, Ember, I think. I use Ember. Hope it doesn't die. If it dies, I'll kind of suck. I think I want to catch it. Okay, don't die. That was a critical hit. Okay, bag. Let's throw just a Pokeball, it's pretty low health. One thing I need to use Great Ball gets yet. Sai, Clazal was caught. Yeah, let's replace this guy with, I guess, I don't know. Uh, Ember. Low accuracy, low damage, don't want that. Never even gonna hardly use the guy. Nickname, yeah. I'm gonna name it just Sai. I think I have a number. Sai. C Y C L E. Cycle. I think add to. I think. So what? How much health does he have? Like this guy, Scat, is not up. Oh, like growing at all. Like I don't want to have a level 14 Pokemon. I don't care if he is better. It's like still. What? Flappy's evolving? <gasps> oh my goodness.
Oh, a Fletching Doll. Yes, we got him. Once a long flame charge. Ah, flame charge. Oh. Ah, flame charge. That does 50. And it just looks like a good one. Um. They use our boosts. I'm not a huge fan of Flail. I don't know. Flail is probably like the most powerful one, but then I'm just like, yeah, no. What badge am I gonna do next? Oh, you chalk face. Caspi here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's base. I take, I take this you mean. You've decided to join my operation. That's right. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Stallfall. Hold on a second. Does this Operation Stallfall of yours have room for one more member? What? Who are you? That's weird. The name's Clive. Oh, and how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackies ra hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, HD? Uh, we're not pals. Haha, oh, shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star. Here, it's not like something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to, uh, sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in the position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clyde. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name, uh, Oleo. Castlepedia, was it? Who exactly are you? Asking too many questions, dude. Shut up. Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. I see. Uh, in that case, I won't press you further. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Stopper. Yes, uh, what would you have us do? Simply, I put, I want you to raid each one of Team Star's bases. Then you defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we to oust these bosses from their rule somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each one of the squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases in now, in fact. Ah, uh, yes. I can see them from over there. On the other side of those is the base proper. And somehow, within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that the team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, HD. They're basically declarations of war. Now, all of Team Star knows that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses, and they step down from their rules, what happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them, that's what happens. That's a, it's a solid plan, but not without rankles. Each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders, and the bases themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they got anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential to this operation, HD. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first though, you'll need to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. And uh, what will you be doing in the meantime? Like I said before, I have a history of Team Star. 
That means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from a fall. Alright, and uh, what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as HD support. You're a cautious one, alright. I respect that. I'll be in touch when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him, HD. Track dog. I have no idea what you mean. But if anyone asks about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academia student like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Ooh. Well, guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to get going, taking down Team Star, and have some fun. So, yeah. Bye.